Residents of Muthinga area in Tetu, this is in Nyeri County, are protesting over repeated cases of police brutality. In the latest case, police are accused of beating Matatu driver and fracturing his skull. We have more details from Martin Munene, who's joining us live from Tetu. Martin, it's good to see you this morning. What further details can you tell us? Do we know if the driver is okay? All right, uh, very good morning to you, Zinzi, and we're here in studio. And like you rightly put it, we're coming to you from Teto. And as you can see behind me here, uh, residents of this particular area have come out uh, because they're protesting what they say is police brutality. Yesterday, uh, a young man uh, around 25 years of age who is a driver was allegedly assaulted by a police officer. Uh, he was actually clobbered. And what we understand is that he's already in hospital uh, nursing injuries. And uh, these residents yesterday actually uh, at night were along the streets protesting and the police had to come in and try to calm them down uh, because they say uh, that uh, they are not going to relent until action is taken against the officers. Uh, this particular residents and drivers say that this is becoming a norm and they say that no matter what the driver had done, it is important uh, for the driver or for the, I mean for the police or officers to actually uh, conduct their affairs as they should without undue or without violence. And I want to speak to uh, part of the residents here uh, the management of this Matatu Sako and also uh, some of the leaders here to just get a brief of what they want to see or what has been happening. Uh, we start with you. Uh, kindly uh, introduce yourself very briefly and tell us uh, what has been happening here and maybe what is the way forward very briefly. Thank you, Martin. My name is Stanley Wakifia, the area MCA, I go the Gaki Ward. We are here because of a uh, case of uh, police brutality that happened yesterday night. Uh, one of uh, the Matatu drivers in this area, to MG and Sako, was, uh, was hit or was uh, battered by a police on case of uh, mistaken identity. And as we talk now, uh, the, the driver, Ian, is admitted in hospital with a fractured uh, skull and also he had some internal breeding. breeding. Uh, today, this morning, uh, we gathered here as the resident of Agudigaki and we want to pass a message, one, because of the case of police brutality that has been happening here just for the case of uh, the police have been asking for money 50 bob and now uh, that it was just a case of mistaken identity that they, they, this guy did that, that yesterday martin uh, this has has gone by whereby these police are not doing their work the the seed cop uh, was drunk one two he hit our driver to a case that the guy is admitted in hospital today as uh, i was always coming here we have, we have tried to see what we can do to ensure that uh, our residents uh, live in peace. But now the resident cannot work. The matatus are packed here. Nothing is happening. Business is paralyzed. No shopping is working here. So we're asking ourselves, since when or till when are we talking about police brutality in the dispensation of this new uh, of this Katiba? Yeah. And maybe, uh, finally, maybe we talk to a driver. Labda tueleze, labda nyinyi mnapofanya kazi enu kufotia kisa hiki ambacho pili tokia jana. Labda mnahisi ni kama mkona usalama wa kutosha kufanya kazi ambayo mnafanya? Eh... Mimi kama driver tunaona ni kama hatuna usalama katika hii kazi kwa sababu kama kama askari anaweza toka kwa station akiwa mlevi aje atoe driver wetu kwa gari ikiwa na ikiwa imejaa abiria amgoge na fibo ambayo alikuwa amefisha huyo nikuonesha hakuwa kazini ni kama mkora kwa sababu alikuwa alikuja kama amefisha fibo akamgoga driver wetu kiasi ya kuwa alizirahi na akaaguka sasa tunauliza sisi tutasurvive namna gani hapa Mudinga na, na labda na, na, kwa kifupi labda ni kuuliza mmeenda kwa polisi kupiga ripoti baada ya kisaiki kwa kifupi tulienda kwa polisi na tukaabua tufuate sheria tuende kisheria lakini raia wakawa hawezi vumilia kwa sababu walishidwa polisi alimuuliza nini na kila siku ikifika saa tatu raia wanafuata huku na polisi wakipigwa bakora ni kama bapo kuna kafyu hatuelezwe na na na, na serikali eh yeah. ah, yeah. All right, uh, like you've had uh, uh, the driver saying that they do not feel like uh, the environment is safe for them to work. And as the area member of the county assembly says, uh, they're trying to find ways uh, to ensure that this particular individual, uh, you know, is taken care of. But an uh, interesting uh, thing that the driver says that they've been exper experiencing police brutality. He says he doesn't even know if there's a curfew here because he says uh, as long as it's dark, police officers patrol uh, the area and they crack the hook in the literal sense, uh, beating up uh, residents. And it's a matter that you 
you're going to be following up with the county commissioner and other administration uh, officers to help us understand why this is happening and also to know what has been done or what will be done uh, to ensure that uh, these people actually do get justice. And uh, from Nyeri County, I bring it back to you in studio. I'm Martin Monene.